This freaks me out. Okay. Auto insurer says, hey, if you let us track how you drive, we'll set your rates by that, and we won't raise your rates, we'll only lower them. And you decide if you're going to have that device in your car. That's fine with me. You have made a decision to allow the spying in return for you potentially getting a lower price. What General Motors has been doing for at least the last two years that's only seen the light of day is inexcusable, and I know the lawyers are going to have fun with this one. GM has the OnStar stuff, and in the thing where they tell you they value your privacy, you're giving them permission to spy on you and sell the data on you on how you drive. You, if you drive a GM car that you've got activated the OnStar stuff, GM has sold down to every nth of your driving minute by minute to LexisNexis, which is a big database company, and you have the right to see your report. If you haven't heard about this, you Google it or whatever search engine you use, you'll see news report after news report after news report about GM selling its customers down the river. So this guy out of nowhere gets a 21% premium increase for his insurance. He can't find out what's going on and other insurers want to charge him a fortune. So an insurance agent said, hey, let me tell you what's going on. GM selling your data to LexisNexis. Well, you have a right to see it like you would see a credit report. So he asked for the report. It's 258 pages long, tracking everything about his driving, according to this New York Times story. 130 pages just detailed every single time they were in the car, he or his wife. Start times, end times, distance driven, hard braking, sharp accelerations, everything about their drive. And then they sell that to auto insurers. Again, no idea this is going on. This is insane. This is ridiculous. GM should be ashamed of itself. It's got to be so little money GM is making selling its customers down the river. I saw in a story in the New York Post about people selling their GM cars because they were so furious that GM was doing this. This is not at all acceptable behavior. And it's not just GM. Honda, Kia, Hyundai are also selling off this data. They are selling it to LexisNexis and other brokers. Not okay. This is wrong. Unacceptable. Again, you use the technology features in your car as part of the benefit of driving that car. For that automaker to turn around and put in their legal notices when it says, oh, here's your terms of service, and it goes page after page after page. Who reads that? Nobody reads that stuff, right? Why would you? You shouldn't have to. And what I hate is corporate America says, we value your privacy when they send you the privacy notice, and then they tell you all the ways that they violate your privacy. This is not the way things should work. The reason this stuff goes on here is we don't have in the United States what's so common in other countries. We don't have a privacy law because our Congress hasn't done anything about this. But this is just not the way life should work. The GM feature is called OnStar Smart Driver. If you have activated OnStar Smart Driver in your car, 
GM is selling you, selling you, selling your data to great harm. Know it. And even if you enjoy the features of OnStar Smart Driver, I'd say you got to shut it down. Shut it off. You know, I wish that an MBA school, they spent one second talking about business ethics and the right way to treat a customer. Because this ain't it. What would you do if Tesla started doing this? I'd be angry as all get out. Because mm -hmm. if you have a Tesla, it's basically a computer on wheels. I would be absolutely furious if Tesla was doing this. Now, the reason Tesla wouldn't is Tesla has a rep in the insurance industry is because of the speed of a Tesla and the acceleration. They, they're looked at as more dangerous cars and people pay higher insurance rates. Tesla wouldn't want to add anything mm. to that reputation by showing, oh, yeah, that person did go zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can watch the full show at youtube.com slash Clark. And don't forget to subscribe to our free newsletter at clark.com slash newsletters.